Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dan salam sejahtera So kita kembali untuk tajuk 6.1 part kedua okay. So sebelum kita mula kita layan intro dulu Ok tanpa melengahkan masa So kita Sekali lagi Tanpa melengahkan masa kita mulakan uh, Part 2 kita Untuk 6.1 So the process of uh, generating electricity So we have process Starting with process number 1 In general uh, Movement of the fire Ok movement of the wire uh, which causes the magnetic field line to be cut connecting wire or solenoid is moved rapidly through the space between the magnetic pole as shown in diagram 1 ok uh, number 2 the induced current uh, is produced in the connecting wire or solenoid and it's flow through the galvanometer ok the pointer in the galvanometer will deflect so let's see um, ok the galvanometer so diagram 1 show the wire is connecting to the galvanometer and uh, between uh, both two poles so the wire is moving rapidly and this action will create uh, electrical currents and we can see there the galvanometer deflects uh, the pointer from zero to uh, maybe what maybe a uh, little bit numbers there so it show that uh, there is a electric current okay this movement of the magnet uh, which caused the magnetic field line to be cut Okay, a magnet is moved as shown in diagram 3 and 4 so the magnetic field line cut by the connecting wire or known as solenoid so the uh, an induced current is produced connecting wire in the connecting wire or the solenoid uh, and it flows through the galvanometer so the pointer in the galvanometer will be the flex so diagram 3 if we turn the, the arrangement of the magnet still we have the the electric current ok let's see the uh, generators ok uh, generators number one is thermal generators so these thermal generators uh, use uh, petroleum or natural gas burn to boil the water in the furnace to produce steam this high pressure steam is used to turn the turbine and the turbine is connected uh, connected to the dynamo so when the dynamo turns it will create the electric current okay the mechanism is uh, something like this okay burning uh, diesel natural gas or coal so the water is boiled and turned into steam at high pressure so this uh, steam will rotate the tur turbine, the turbine will rotate the dynamo and create electric electrical current. So the energy changes from the chemical energy from petroleum and natural gas change into heat energy consists of uh, a steam and from the steam create kinetic energy and from that we produce electric energy next is solar generators so solar generator is the mechanism is light from the sun ray are absorbed by the solar cell in the solar panel and the solar cell convert light into electrical energy okay very simple mechanism for solar generator the energy the energy changer energy changes uh, in this uh, solar generator is from sun is light energy 
change into electric energy now uh, the third generators is uh, hydroelectric generator so you can see here the water from the reservoir the turbine turn the generators produce electric energy the energy from the waterfall turn the turbine okay so the mechanism is water store in the high reservoir flow out the water flow from the high level to low level creates the uh, swift flow from the uh, very strong uh, potential energy turn the turbine and will generate the electrical energy so the energy change in from potential energy uh, very high potential energy when the water reserve in the dam in the high position so when the water move downward so will create kinetic energy from the waterfall will turn the turbine and create electric energy okay this one is uh, wind turbine okay wind turbine we have tower blades and generators okay so the mechanism is moving air or wind uh, and the wind will rotate the blades the blade will rotate turbine and from that uh, produce electric energy so the energy change from kinetic energy from the moving wind create electrical energy okay this one is uh, nuclear generator nuclear generator we have reactor here nuclear reactor uh, for nuclear uh, fission and when the nuclear fission react in this nuclear reactor will hit the, the water in the steam generator will create the high pressure steam and will rotate the turbine and from that will produce electric energy let's see the mechanism so nuclear reaction in nuclear reactors will boil the water into steam that at high pressure and this steam at high pressure will rotate the turbine and creates the electrical energy so the energy change from nuclear energy from the uh, nuclear fission the process of radioactive in nuclear reactor will create heat energy and will heat up the water and uh, will turn into steam and this steam will uh, rotate the turbine will create kinetic energy and from that will create electrical energy okay this one is biomass using uh, the same principle but the the material is different so this one is uh, using wood uh, during combustion and create gas to uh, boil the water and then the steam at high pressure will turn the turbine and create electricity so the mechanism is uh, combustion of methane produced by biomass the water will uh, is boil and the steam at high pressure will rotate the turbine and create electrical energy okay this one is a uh, wave power station wave power station is uh, using uh, wave power so the up and down of modern seawater will create uh, will connect it to the pump pressurized water and then that water high pressure water will will turn the turbine and create electricity so the mechanism yeah as i mentioned earlier so air pressure out the out of the chamber when the water level is in chamber rises so the swift flow air rotate the turbine and create electricity so the point uh, energy change is potential energy to kinetic energy from that we we'll create electrical energy okay now we move on to the type of um, current so electrical current is divided into two types one is direct current DC and the second one is alternating current so the alternating current is something uh, interesting to know okay let's see uh, direct current first 
DC that current is a electrical current that flow in one direction only example of device that use direct current are torchlight toy car and also calculators okay example of generators or source of electricity that produce direct current are solar cell accumulator and also batteries now let's see the second type of current is another uh, alternating current uh, the short form is AC so the alternating current is an electric current that flow in constantly reserve reversing reverse reversing direction example of device that use alternating current uh, we have bread toaster air conditioner hair dryer rice cooker and so on okay this one is uh, something we need to uh, re need to know is a device used to show the different in the shape of graph direction of current and also voltage change for direct current and also alternating current it's known as cathode ray oscilloscope the short form is CRO okay this is a picture of CRO eh? okay also the diagram of uh, CRO and also a block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope okay uh, now we see the some problem we are solving related to the electrical energy supply in life okay uh, some more uh, we see maybe around two okay let's see number one first uh, by using biogas source to generate electricity so biogas is a, uh, is a gas that highly flammable and is produced when organic matter such as cow dung decay Okay, in the biogas generators, cow dung is collected and is placed into a biogas fermentation tank. So the biogas obtained is used to run the generators in the combustion engine to produce electricity. Okay, when this, uh, we have a lot of supply there, so we can use that one as a, a bio biogas. Okay. Number two is uh, by building hydroelectric generators in a river. Okay, that I mentioned earlier. So we have a dam, uh, a, a very large uh, reservoir. Okay, but this one is a small one. Okay, we are use we are not uh, building any dam, but using the the water the water through the river itself okay so the power station that use river water to generate generate power depend on the rapidity of the water flowing through the river so therefore the water mills are built across the rapidly flowing river and the water will turn the turbine which in turn spin the dynamo so the electricity is generated okay so i hope yeah, this one is understand and you can understand this uh, this part two because uh, this part three no we will we finish for 6.1 and after this we will continue on 6.2 i hope you understand if you have any question you can ask uh, later uh, and also you can answer the question uh, that I provided in your uh, GC. Thank you very much for your time and we will see you again for the Thank you. Bye-bye.